Well, here comes a match right now, and they'll tell you something. There won't be any smiles on these two competitors. I'll tell you, I've uh, I've arm wrestled with both of these competitors. These guys are tough. And I, I'm still trying to figure out who the stronger of the two uh, is, but I'll tell you, I, I pretty well think they're evenly matched. Uh, unfortunately, Gary is on top with, with scoring against uh, Richard Barbie, but we have... A fellow from Barrie, Ontario, going against a fellow from London, Ontario. A former Canadian champion uh, in uh, Barbie, a world champion in sit-down competition, and we have a world champion in sit-down and stand-up in Gary Goodrich. So let's see what happens. Wow! And instant power, lock, and Gary Goodrich has speed, and uh, he's going to the finals. And Gary Goodrich will uh, go against uh, the winner, uh, Richard Lupkes from Minnesota, in the final matches. After this, we're into the finals, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I'll tell you something. We've got the amateur open, open left handed. Uh, in the winner uh, bracket, Jeff Miller and Frank Spatero. So, Frank, uh, I'm sorry, we have uh, Frank Spatero and Jeff Stroud. Okay, I'm, I apologize for that. The winner of this match will go against Jeff Miller in the final match. And can Spatero do it in this left-hand competition? And he has... Well, okay, we do have a uh, an elbow foul against uh, Frank Spatero. Now, he's got to keep his head about this one because he is so close to winning this whole thing. Uh, this is very, very important. Uh, he does not, he does not, and I repeat, does not want to lose this match because he'll have to settle for third if he does. Okay, we got U.S., New York, and Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Let's see if uh, he can do it without pulling his elbow off that pad. And a good start, and Stroud just got the tight deal. I've got the two, I guess, most competitive arm wrestlers in the association throughout the world with me, and I feel like I'm honored because both these guys are, first of all, gentlemen, and, they're, and, they, and they excel in the sport like no other. To my immediate left is John Brzezink. John, how many world titles do you have? I lost track. Oh, well, me too. <laughs> no. uh, I've about five or six years, I know that. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of different organizations. Uh, um, it's hard to keep track. Okay. Um, I was going to vouch for this man. I know he's international. He's world. He's been the best in the world. His, his arm is awesome. This guy here is Gary Goodrich, who is a Canadian resident at local Barry. Gives John one heck of a time and they've been competing for four or five years going at each other, win-lose, win-lose, win-lose. It's exciting to have John and all the other guys from the States this weekend, isn't it, Gary? Oh, it certainly is. I'm, I'm really happy that they're up here, and, you know, it's, it's, it's been a good turnout, and we're having a great time. Is his arm as strong as it used to be? Oh, it's stronger. Okay. <laughs> I, I see, John, you, you've got Core's shirt. Core's extra gold. Okay, I, I, I'm glad. Core's, Core's extra gold. Oh, one of the sponsors for the tournament happens to be Molson. And they, they, they look after cores up here, I think. Oh, I, I'm almost That's positive good. they do. What is the first thing, Gary, that you look, you think about when you know John's going to a tournament? Are you pretty excited about it? Well, first, I think about, I, I think about the, um, the, the injuries that I, that I have and, and hope that he has the same injuries or more uh, so, I, so I can defeat him. But usually I, I, I try hard to, to stay um, injury-free, and I try that. I hope that he stays injury free so when we meet, you know, you know, but so far it's, it's been, I guess it's, it's been 60, 60, 40 for John and I, he's holding the 60% and I'm holding the 40%. Gary, I'm going to ask the same question to John. How do you train? Well, basically, um, how I train is just uh, practice make perfect. Um, you know, a tennis player wants to get better at tennis, he plays tennis. It's just basically the same way with arm wrestling. If an arm wrestler wants to get better at arm wrestling, he arm wrestles. How do you do it, John? 
Uh, yeah, basically the same way. You know, I pull uh, twice a week with some friends uh, back in Salt Lake City. We got a few guys that are interested in it, and they come over uh, twice a week. And I try to hit the spa. Uh, I've been uh, hitting the spa lately. And, uh, once a week, twice a week, oh, if yeah. I'm feeling okay, you know. It's arm wrestling, too much arm wrestling takes a lot out of you, you know. It takes a, lot, a long time to recover. So, uh. Well, I just want to say, on behalf of uh, the Canadian Arm Wrestling Association, it's an honor having all you guys come up from the States, and it really made our tournament success, and we wish you the best. And, I'm, and we miss your beautiful wife because I know she comes with you all the tournaments. Yeah, I and, and I uh, say hi to her from us in Canada, and have a safe trip home. Right, thank you. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, this is the finals, and the uh, we are back. We are back at this uh, arm wrestling tournament here, the international arm wrestling tournament, by the sounds of it, uh, here at the Brookdale in Barrie, Ontario, and we have Vic Bartlett and Chuck Doublestein, and we've got a match here for the finals. It looks like Bartlett's got all kinds of control. But uh, it doesn't seem like he could put him away that easily, though. So Bartlett has uh, been undefeated all day, and that's exactly why. Vic Bartlett, the winner, and Chuck uh, Doublestein uh, takes second. And that uh, 150 and under amateur weight division. Okay, now this is the pro 150 and under. We have professionals and the unbeaten all day Paul Chikini world champion against Eric Smythe. Now this is not the first time these two competitors have uh, have met. It's probably uh, the the 11th time that they have. And it just keeps on going on and on and on. I think I've seen uh, Eric uh, Smythe has um, has stopped uh, Chikini once, uh, but not for long. So let's see what happens here. And Smythe elected to go inside with Cecchini. And we've got a little bit of a repair uh, job to do. Uh, to have uh, done here. <laughs> and we broke the table. Paul Cicchini, uh just unbelievable speed. James reporting for Channel 10. We're here at the Brookdale in the Ontario arm wrestling event. We're, we're honored with having our southern, our southern friends visit us. This gentleman beside me is Andre Rhodes from uh, Stateside. And he's well known throughout the arm wrestling industry as the Cobra. And our first question that comes to mind is, how the heck did you get the arm name arm wrestling Cobra? Well, when I uh, when I arm wrestle, I'm considered one of the faster hitters on the tour. And uh, my tongue sometimes hangs out, kind of a uh, Oda Michael Jordan, you know, uh -huh. when I compete. Fantastic. I noticed on the back of your shirt, it has a picture of an arm with a Cobra. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, well, my arm is a cobra. That's the way I think of it when I'm at the table. Um, at my weight class, I don't think any man in the world can beat me. Okay. I know you started in over the top with the big Sylvester Stallone and Rick Zumo, the monster. Was it exciting for you as it was for everybody else? Yeah, I had a good time making the movie. Got to uh, talk with Stallone quite a bit, do a little arm wrestling with him. It was a, it was an experience, I'll say that. Well, I'll tell you, we're, we're honored to have you up here, well, you and, any, and you're welcome in Canada anytime we're around. Thanks a lot, and good luck today. Okay, amateur 151 to 175. We've got the unbeaten Keith Brown going against Terry Goodrich. Now, the situation is here. Uh, the fellow in the B bracket, which is Terry uh, Goodrich, has an opportunity to come back, and the only way he can do that is to win this match and then win the next one. Uh, to win overall, so that's the way it works in double elimination uh, uh, bouts. And I've seen it time and time again that the, the contestant in the B bracket come back and win overall. Okay, Terry Goodrich uh, in the red uh, track pants and unbeaten all day today, Keith Brown. So let's see what happens here. Oh, 
and a good start. And look at this. Just after I uh, try to explain to people what happens in a situation like this, and uh, a prime example, Terry Goodrich in the B bracket has just won the match against Keith Brown, and they're going to be back. And he's right back up there for the final match of the day, and he's done it again. Terry Goodrich has come all the way back from the B-side to win overall. And that's the way it happens, too. Nice going, guys. Okay, this is it. Pro 151-175, Mark Gardner and the Cobra. Well, I'll tell you something. We've got another rematch here in the Pro 151-175, and Mark Gardner from Canada, uh, London, Ontario, Canada, and the Cobra from Chicago, Illinois. Now, it was the one of the bigger upsets of the day, uh, uh, world champion uh, uh, Cobra. Uh, Mark Gardner uh, put him away uh, earlier in the day, and I'll tell you, the Cobra says, I don't, don't want that to happen again. So we'll see what happens. Hey guys, Mark Gardner and the Cobra. Can Mark Gardner do it again? Of course, the colorful Cobra. He's got a picture of a Cobra right on this back of his T-shirt there, too, as well, against Mark Gardner. And look at this. One more time unbeaten. Cobra, thanks for coming. Mike K, third. That's it. And Cobra's shaking his head. He just can't okay. understand what the hell's going on there. <laughs> but Mark Gardner's taking this one. He's got all the cash. We've got an amateur 176 to 200. Amateurs and Phil Sadler and Jerry. Fabatel. Phil Sadler and Jerry Fabatel. Phil Jerry. Phil is undefeated. <laughs> We've got the match, and, and, only one. Come on. and Phil Sadler figured he had it all sewn up, but no. And here's another case of a man from the B bracket winning uh, over the man from the A bracket, and they got to do it again. This is exciting. We're at the Brookdale in Barrie, Ontario. I finally beat him. And what you would call somewhat of an international event. And guess what? Jerry. Jerry Fabletel from the Penetang area has come back and won overall. Pro 176 and 200. Mr. John Berzik. Okay, now we've got the Pro 176 to 200. We got John Berzink, unbeaten today, world champion, five times over against a former Canadian champion, Tony Hickey from Elmont, Ontario. Now, John Berzink is from uh, Utah, United States. All this way to come and see his friends, Gary Goodrich and the, and the boys at, in Ontario. We welcome him, and let's see whether Tony can just. Uh, possibly stop Berzink because he's just about unbeat unbeatable. I think Berzink has beaten everybody in the arm wrestling gate at one time or the other. So let's see what happens here. Uh, very calm John Berzink in a power lock and it's too much. Too much for Tony Hickey. John Berzink. Looks like Cobra for third. Thanks for coming, guys. Amateur, 201 and up. We've got Dan and Mark. Meeting center table. We've got the Amateur 200. 
and one pound and up. Now here we have a uh, unbeaten uh, Dan Deverell who has earlier beaten the world arm wrestling amateur champion Mark Zalippa from London, Ontario. So Deverell from Toronto. Uh, let's see if Mark can do exactly what you have just seen previous in the in the uh, lighter weight divisions. Come back and win overall. Let's see if he can do that. I think he's concentrating a little bit better than he did earlier. Mark Zalippa, the Canadian and world arm wrestling amateur champion, going against Dan Deverell. So let's see what happens here. And Mark went, elected to go underneath of Deverell's hand, which is not in a very good situation. Now I don't know whether I don't know whether there is a, uh, a foul given or not. Yes, there is. There's one foul uh, against Mark uh, Zalippa. And he really can't afford another one here because this is it. The 201 and over amateur uh, weight division. So we've got a second start here, and guess what? Deverell, too much, has just defeated the world arm wrestling amateur uh, champion. Uh, and, and, and now Dan Deverell is on his way to the Canadian Championships. Reporting for Channel 10 in Barrie. Beside me is probably one of the largest arm wrestlers in the world but one of the nicest guys in the world also. Name, Richard Lupkis. Super heavyweight. I guess three years now. Been arm wrestling for 11. Um, has a wife, a beautiful wife, four kids. Where, where about you from, Rich? From uh, Rushmore, Minnesota. Long way up here. We really appreciate you coming this way. Everybody wants to know how you got so big. Did you eat your Cheerios every morning? Uh, it's really from consistent weight training. I've been lifting weights for 14 years. 14 years. Right. It's not an overnight thing, you know. You just got to stay with it. What would you say, if you could, any advice to any little kids out there looking at you, saying, I want to be as big as that guy? What would you say to them? It takes a lot of hard work. It really does. But uh, I think once you get involved in it with weightlifting or arm wrestling, uh, you'll enjoy it. And I think you'll stick with it. Well, I'm telling you, we've, uh, I don't know if the people can see out there, but this man is one big boy. And uh, he's come a long way up to, to, to give us our, his, his presence in our tournament. And we really appreciate you coming up, Rich. And we wish you the best. I understand you're now in the semifinals. And right hand, super heavy. And my money's on you, so if you don't win, we're all in trouble. <laughs> okay, there was a lot of great competitors. I tell you, this tournament is a great turnout. I, I'm glad you said that. We really appreciate all our southern neighbors coming up to visit us. And if we can do it again, our pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay, we are back. Uh, I'm Gene Taddy, uh, your announcer for today. Common, color commentator, as they call it, uh, for Cable 10. And we've got uh, two world champions going up here, and John Brzezink and Gary Goodish, and they're in the power lock. And this could be interesting. And John Brzezink trying desperately to pull, and he does. What two top competitors here and two world champions, one from the U.S. and one from Canada. I love it. I love it. I'll tell you, there's nothing better than having international competition, especially here at the Brookdale in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. So we've got Gary Goodrich back in here in the Pro Division 226 and up. He's elected to go a couple of weight divisions, and he is going against a man that is a giant, uh, Richard Lupkus from Minnesota, USA. And Richard Lupkus has looked so good today. I don't know. I, I hate to predict in this one, but Gary certainly uh, has has a chance because I, I believe he has, has beaten Lupkus once before in the United States. But we'll see what happens here. Gary all 
all smiles here. He's trying to uh, uh, tease Lucas a little bit here, but and of course Richard, uh, look at the size of that arm on Richard Lucas, all the way from Minnesota to come and see his friends Gary and, and the group. And uh, another reason too, because you knew the competition would be as stiff as it has been today. So in a few minutes, we'll just see what uh, what Gary can do here against the big mountain of a man, Richard Lupkus. there I think uh, jump start jump start on Gary Goodrich he had the jump on him and let's see what we can do here because I think the similar uh, situation happened in Vegas about four months ago and yes Richard Lucas just too much for uh, for world champion Gary Goodrich. We've got uh, Richard, Gary, and Richard Barbie is third. Thanks a lot. And uh, Rick okay, Barbie from uh, London, Ontario, Ontario placed Richard third in that weight division. Jeff Miller versus Frank Zaporo. Okay, now we have the amateur open left weight division, and we have uh, a newcomer. A fairly newcomer, and Frank Spatero from Scarborough, Ontario, uh, against uh, Jeff Miller. Unbeaten Jeff Miller. Also, October 7th, 89, at the CNE Toronto. The RC Craft Building Canadian Pro-Am Arm Wrestling Challenge Championship. And there's one more. The Trump Peak Creek Arm Wrestling Club. Happy May 13th at Trump Peak Creek Creek Arena. I haven't set the limits last year, but I think it might be good for the pro and average to be classic, okay? Okay, so we've got the open left in uh, Jeff Miller and Frank Spatero. Frank in the black shirt. Uh, Jeff Miller, a newcomer to my eyes. Uh, looking real good in this open weight division, amateur left-handed class. So let's see if Frank can do it. And guess what? We have another situation where Frank Spatero will, uh, will go again against Jeff Miller, and they're going to do it right now. They won't take a break. And what a crowd here today at the Brookdale here in Barrie, Ontario. Uh, we are on uh, Channel 10 Cable, and I'm Gene Taddy. I'm uh, really happy to be here. And we're just about wrapping this uh, sort of an international event here. We've got Canada, U.S., and Frank Spatero has come back the B side to win overall. That man is looking good with the left hand. I'd just like to say before we go into the left on the Open Pro, that the Port Perry Club has just announced to us who the most, who's the best arm wrestler and most courteous. His name is Jerry Robotai. He's come out with like to hand you an award. Let's give a big round of applause, guys. This is an amateur that's been in for the first time. And they, uh, Perry, wrestling club. they have just uh, awarded a, uh, a plaque to uh, uh, Jerry Robillard from uh, Penetang area. Uh, and that award was given to, uh, from the Port Perry Arm Wrestling president, uh, the Port Perry Arm Wrestling club president, uh, Mike Haig. And uh, okay, this is the final one. This is it. That was the most uh, sportsmanlike award, and uh, the Port Perry Arm Wrestling Club are, are noted to uh, to go ahead and, and do that at every tournament they go to. So it's a fine job for both the competitor and uh, and the people who have given the award out. The Port Perry Arm Wrestling Club. It's been a long day. I think we're into about five and a half hours of nonstop arm wrestling. We took a small, uh, few small breaks. But I'll tell you, this is a uh, competition where that is best. And uh, what we have here is the uh, Goodrich connection again. We have cousin Garvin Lewis and world champion uh, uh, Gary Goodrich, okay, in the left hand open. So let's see what happens here. Gary Goodrich is in the B side. 
They're both uh, both uh, flexing their biceps at the cameras, and uh, we'll have presentations uh, uh, right after this match. And we've got a power lock match with Gary Goodrich and cousin Garvin Lewis. And Carvin, unbeaten all day today, has defeated his cousin Gary.